Next Sun Festival und neben mir steht ein legendärer Mann von einer legendären Band, František Storm von Masters Hammer. Uh, Franta, 30 years or more than 30 years of Masters Hammer now. Did you think that you would be as successful as you started the band back in the 80s? Uh, yes, of course. We will be even more successful in future, but uh, success is not important for me. And it's just a kind of joke, you know, kind of uh, uh, attitude. I think people often, even uh, journalists and fans, are uh, distinguishing bands on successful and non-successful. Just play our music. It's, uh, the success is not, imp not important for us at all. Uh, when you started, and it was 1987, I think, or 1988? Uh, um, 87, actually. 87. Yeah, yeah. 87. So um, there were quite a few Czech black metal bands uh, back then, like Thor or Root um, uh, and uh, other bands. How would you describe the Czech black metal scene back then? I don't remember. I was totally drunk and stoned then uh, in those times. But uh, seriously, we had friendships among all uh kinds of bands no not only black metal we were friends with uh, some punk techno industrial bands and and so on and uh, of course that we we are labeled as black metal so mo most friendships survived uh up today and uh, i think it's the the most important value on uh, in, in any any kind of music because uh the music will uh, will be interested for uh, uh, interesting for, for fans or for journalists maybe uh, but uh, for us as uh, authors as song songwriters performing artists the music itself it's not important anymore the friendship is is more like this well the scene was quite uh, open and uh, um, there was a lot of freedom even more freedom than today i would say in the early 90s it was fantastic times and i hope it'll come back sometimes i don't know when now it's going worse and worse in our country um speaking of friendship you were not only a musician for masters hammer but you also did <laughs> cover artworks for lots of other bands like for the debut album of root for the debut album of tour and Quite surprisingly, you did uh, the cover artwork for the first Kabat album. Is that correct? Oh yeah, that's correct. I did the picture also uh, because I uh, I was a uh, graphic designer and that was part of my job. And nowadays, I'm not doing for other bands anymore because I'm busy with my own designs and my own art for my music. The main impulse was to make uh, illustrations for music. It's not a free art, it's a kind of design, so it's my attitude. I'm doing illustrations for literature as well, I'm doing books, and uh, my vision of art uh, in, in, in music is, uh, is also uh, expressed by stage design. You may see today the, the backdrop. Unfortunately, you won't see the the special lights we we usually have, but because of the conditions here. But uh, I consider this as an important part of of the of the image of any band. Um, speaking of doing designs, if this is credited correctly, you did actually design for an album of an artist who is very popular in Czech Republic and in Germany, Karel Gott. Is yes, that right? Yes, of course. Yeah, this is my my only uh, and and the and. Uh, and strongest satanic uh, uh, mm, design. It was for for his album. It was it was called Když muž se ženou snídá. I never saw him him in in person, but uh, I still consider it's a it's a I don't know. It's it's also an artist, you know. So it, it's my. But uh, the work for him was kind of a joke, I, I would say. I don't take it seriously. It was part of crazy designs. I'm happy I'm, I'm credited there. I'm just using it for fun <laughs> sometimes. Um, coming to some more serious uh, things, uh, you were actually the first uh, band out of Czech Republic to receive an international album deal with Osmos Productions in the early 90s. How did you get in touch with them? What was it? We were not first, maybe first of the black metal scene, maybe, maybe. 
we had a lot of uh, contacts before Osmos and after Osmos as well. And this was kind of, uh, well, I would say uh, the deal is over, but uh, they helped us a lot and they helped themselves a lot as well. I would not comment anymore. It was kind of uh, introduction to, to the to the world, but but for a price, I would say, yeah. Um, you released two your first two albums yeah. with them, and which um, rise to roads of fame, and then you released the third album, which was quite controversial, uh, Schlagri. Yeah, yeah. Um, what happened back then? <laughs> uh, back then, uh, nowadays people uh, remember Schlagri uh, very well. Some people, not all of them, of course, because this is not for everyone. This music was really strange. It is. And uh, people keep asking for some songs. Why don't we give them uh, life on, on stage as well? Yeah, especially uh, especially this, uh, how is it called? The, the, the yeah, Aksinku Sinku and Hlava Modernistova. And uh, other songs are also brilliant. It was kind of experimental, I con uh, confess. It, uh, well, perhaps it uh, should not be labeled as Master's Hammer Act, but it is actually. And uh, in our music, up to uh, these days, there are still uh, elements of uh, electronic experiment. And that was the beginning of, of that. We, we bought computers and we started to play more and, and more. Um, after Schlagri, you went on a 13-year-long hiatus. You stopped playing with yeah. the band. What made you reform the band in 2009? I would say it's not a um, um, comeback. It's not a reform the band because uh, there are new people. There is new album and new energy. I would say it's a reincarnation like uh, Phoenix uh, uh, born again from the ashes, something like that, new energy. And we earned a lot of energy from fans. Uh, we, recently we came back from uh, the American tour and we uh, got a lot of power from, from, from those people. They, they were close to animals. They were so, uh, so fucking lively and uh, well, uh, strong, this uh, excellent experience, I would say. So uh, the, the thing you, you were asking for um, about the uh, re, re, um, re, reintroduction. reintroduction, whatever it was, uh, the impulse was that, uh, well, we are old enough and uh, almost uh, on well, the career is over, so we started to to need fun to 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 come in front of our fans and uh, see how the new songs um, working on them, how how, how it's uh, interacting the new stuff with the energy of of the fans, and it's so exciting. Over the years, you always said that you'd never play live. Okay. Then suddenly in 2017, you announced the headliner show at Brutal Assault. Plus, you announced a small show in Prague, which was sold out in less than 20, 24 hours, I think. Um, did this surprise you that there was such great demand for tickets and for Master Hammer in general? Uh, no, it did not surprise me uh, at all because, you know, we are ambitious. I'm not a humble man. I'm. Um, I'm trying to to make the show as best as possible. So I'm I'm pushing my colleagues to to make more and more things. So I I should not be I, I cannot be a humble man. So I need more and more and more. So so yet one of the most pre prestigious guests uh, for this small show yet Nergal from Behemoth. Yeah. Um, how did the contact come? Did he contact you or did you contact him? Uh, it was interesting. I did not know him uh, in person before. And uh, after he appeared the day before the, the show, we had a very nice evening drinking wine. And uh, it was like uh, we know each other for years because he's a very cultural man. He's uh, uh, very smart and uh, I like his projects. 
I like his music and his attitude. He's a very brave man and he mm, made a lot for other bands and for us as well. He invited us then after on their um, Vaso shows. There was two concerts uh, last December and it was just fantastic to, to play with, with Behemoth on the same, same stage. Great, great thing. Actually, uh, I did not know his music before, so but uh, but I I studied the uh, this man, the, 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 this great man. Uh, then after, so well, that's it. Um, speaking of the new live lineup or lineup of uh, Master Sema, this is quite an all-star lineup when it comes to Czech black metal, isn't it? You have two members from um, Avenger in it. You have uh, now you have Blackie from uh, X Root. You had uh, Vlaster Hennig of Tor. Um, did you intend this, or was this just natural? It was, yeah, very natural, of course, because I, uh, I, I tried to make the lineup of, of the band uh, with uh, you know the, the most famous uh, personalities in uh, in Czech black metal because uh, the whole thing with Masters Hammer is that uh, I'm not metalhead and uh, all the albums are sort of parody on, on black metal even if it does not uh, sound like the first two albums okay but then after it's, it's just fun and and joke and uh, when you need to make the joke honestly and a hundred percent well like uh, people should should believe in it so I I had to ask professionals and uh, the most uh, powerful man I would not say yeah, most famous they are famous enough and um, yeah th this is how it happened Funny thing is, you you speaking of uh, Master Hammer as some sign, some kind of not joke, but you know, fun thing to do. Yeah. Yet, um, especially in Norway, you're taken pretty seriously. Like uh, Fenris of Dark Throne always yeah. says, um, "Well, Ritual is the actual the first Norwegian black metal album, although it's not even um, played by a Czech band, by a, by a Norwegian band, but by a Czech band." Have you ever met him in person? Oh uh, no, unfortunately not yet. But. Uh, um, Well, the, the whole thing with, uh, with the legend of Masters and whatever, we are the first Norwegian black metal band, whatever. Uh, it's a construction of fans. Uh, I used to, to, to kick this idea out of me, but suddenly I realized it's their uh, creation, their construction, so I would not harm anymore this, this idea. But. I'm free to, to, to make jokes out of it, so I'm not insulting anyone anymore. <laughs> so. um, recently you've announced um, some Czech shows, which were announced as uh, last shows before a long stop. Uh, why will there be a stop? Well, it's, uh, it's said diplomatically, it's uh, the last uh, show before a... Um, Uh, I would say, uh, I would say not holidays, but uh, creative uh, gap, creative pause. Because I, I need to go to India in January, and uh, it's gonna be uh, February, maybe March, because I'm, I need to to lay in my hammock under under the coconut uh, trees with my laptop and guitar. And I need to compose some some new music to, to have a new new stuff. And we are thinking about new album with with all uh, guys <coughs> on 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 the road. Um, on way way it here, we we have listened some some new demos from from my cell phone and uh, just thinking, oh, it's still very bad. We have a lot of work ahead. So that's that's why the the long gap is uh, announced. Because if you need to focus on something like songwriting, uh, you must not be disturbed by, by traveling. And the traveling is exhausting. The playing itself, it's okay. We, we like to play yeah, every day. 
but on one place, please. <laughs> no, no, uh, no uh, transfers, no, no airplanes, no, no hotels anymore. So that's it. Um, you said that you're not uh, the greatest metalhead, yet I still would ask you to, to comment on some other fellow Czech bands, if that's yes, all right sure. with you. Um, the first one would be Root. Root. I uh, like uh, all of them. Uh, Jura Walter, of course, is one of my best friends. And I can uh, announce that, that he, he is going to sing one, one song with us on uh, December 2 in, in Brno, on, on the, the big concert. Yama Pekel, of course, and uh, yeah, I like them. Even if I'm not listening their music daily, of course. <laughs> um, Tor. Tor. Well, Vlasta Henik used to play three concerts with, with us. He was a great guy with, uh, with a very special style. But yeah, Tor is uh, it's nowadays a uh, quite different band. I know Ota Heres is a very good friend of mine and uh, excellent guitarist with, with many bands. But, you know, again, it's not my cup of tea, but the friendship I, I mentioned earlier is the most important thing to me, even if I'm not listening to, to their music. And it's not only in the, in the metal uh, musicians. I, I have many friends among uh, folk music, bluegrass musicians. It's fantastic people. So, um, Arakain. Arakain. Well, I don't know them at all. I've, n I've been on, yeah. I was on one concert of them. They, they used to play with uh, Lucia Bila, some sort of, uh, you know, who is it? Pop Maybe singer. pop singer, pop singer. Well, not my cup of tea. Um, one uh, band you did cover artwork for, and which is now probably the most popular rock band in Czech Republic, Kabat. Kabat. It's pop. I'm sorry. Sorry to say, I don't meet them. I don't know them. Yeah, yeah, we, stu we used to play together at one tour in 91 or 1992. It was like that, but well, I don't remember almost anything with them. Um, last but not least, uh, Krabator. Krabator. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah, very good. But. Uh, well, still, it's metal, you know. <laughs> and do you have favorite albums of Czech heavy metal, or do you would you say no? I don't like. I don't like my own stuff. Um, actually, there are many. I don't want to uh, to mention one. What, uh, mention five. Well, well, uh, you you forgot uh, the Bustro, the early early demos of the Bustro, excellent, and uh, of course Insania, you know. Yeah, what what would you say? Uh, well, what what shall I say? Paprsky uh, it's, No, it's not metal at all. It's industrial. And uh, how about Swati Vincent? It's not metal. Do you know Swati Vincent? It's fantastic. I think they should uh, make uh, another edition of it because I don't have the, the... It was a fucking great album. It was excellent. I love the lyrics. I, I love his poetry. I love his art. He's still alive. Even he's uh, some sort of invalid, no, no legs, and uh, he's a very smart guy, totally insane, but ingenious. So what even said was a great band. Shame they are not 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 playing anymore. Well, wh what else to mention? There are many underground bands, very good bands. I like Zesnik, the, the you know the hip hop. Mm -hmm. Horrorcore. That's it. Well, so you have a very uh, wide, uh, um, wide range of music that you like. Yeah, but I think it's natural. Everyone wants to be influenced by beautiful things or by ugly, ugly things as well. At the same time, is that a reason for a song like Shy Gecko on Formula? Yes, of course, because I, uh, um, I saw him in in India. Uh, in in my room, there are many geckos. They are doing a very good job. They are they are, they are catching uh, uh, some insects. So uh, shy gecko is my friend. So I wrote a song about him. I like uh, animals. I, I write songs about animals, and I I'm trying to uh, to put some uh, animal sounds on on my records. 
for instance, I I took frogs uh, close to my carriage for for Yama Pekel on, on mantras and well, what else? There are some, some birds si- singing. I'm trying to catch on microphone. Yeah, it's very inspiring to hear voices of, of animals because we are animals as well. So why don't we sing with them? They are they have beautiful voices so what we can can we expect from the future um, for masters hammer uh, for nearest future we are going this uh, to play th- this uh, this concert and uh, next week uh, it's Denmark and the other weekend it's uh, some festival in South Bohemia and then we are uh, October that is uh, at the end of October France it's uh, Rennes its name of the of the city and then uh, we will see the Brno of course and uh, in future I don't know I don't have plans even if I had plans I would not tell you but uh, because it's it's changing every day you know well we wish you all the best thank you very much yeah, for this thank interview you. thank you very and much. hope to see a nice show thank you for your question